Mm. Hello, divine beings, friends and family and internet worlds. And yeah, people who have the great privilege of technology to watch these videos and share magic um, and wisdom with the world tuning in from the earth the great mother earth um been sitting on the ground have not taken not put shoes on for seven days amazing wow being out of the city just how much healing and grounding i needed um we all need away from the social medias and the technology and the mental chaos chatter that we're all experiencing i always say it if you're in if you're in that chaotic storm take your shoes off go and sit on the earth breathe in the fresh air the wind get some sun on your skin eat some wild weeds <laughs> and all will be well in the world mm. Sirkis. Um, so I wanted to do a little quick video I was inspired by a call I had with a client and yeah just looking at the planetary alignments the chaos in the world the inner turmoil turmoil I have been going through with regards to our current crisis <laughs> which really is is actually I'm realizing more a crisis of of polarity so the Piscean age which we left and was the two fishes swimming in opposite directions everyone talks about this 5d reality and the Aquarian age and um, like what is that what does it actually mean and it is this transcendence this awakening to something beyond what was something beyond the two opposites the polarities and interestingly I'm realizing even for myself the war that I have created within against this VAX I can't believe I'm saying this it's taken me a bit of like grounding and centering and wondering okay what is true spirit speak through me may I speak truth what is on my heart and what is on my heart is that we must stop falling into this divide and polarity my best friend two of my best friends took the J A B and I had to go through my judgments and like look at myself and why I was creating this separation my father took it and after sitting on the earth for these past seven days and having many women come to me and ask me and men what do I do my company needs me to do this I need to travel I got to take it and understanding that actually it's much bigger than the VAX what's really being shown to us is where we are allowing ourselves to fall into the opposing war and that's the end of the Piscean age so when we can see how we've created a polarity we can actually transcend it even if it's something that you feel so strongly about that you would go to war for. I'm a warrior. That's why I'm an activist and I, I fight things. And not to sound woo-woo, not to fall into a spiritual bypassing trap, but to actually go into the darkness of this want to be at war, to be right to fight against a system or a government or what I believe to be wrong and actually when this beautiful young woman said to me like I feel like if I do this I'm going to be letting down the spiritual community I was like 
oh shit that's it that's what's wrong how can a spiritual community judge someone's choices that's not a spiritual community that's where we've gone wrong we've we've identified and got caught up in these camps and are like gung-ho about staying on a single side and fighting and judging the other side i don't hold the truth they don't necessarily hold the truth we all individually have our own truths and what we're being asked to face in this apocalyptic time i mean apocalyptic Apocalypse actually in the prophecies just means a death and rebirth, a revealing, a great reveal, the quickening. It's like everything's falling apart. We're in a fucking shitstorm. Nobody knows what's going on. It's chaotic. The systems, the the experts, the people that we trusted, now suddenly we're seeing like actually I'm not so sure I trust these people anymore. So the point that I'm trying to get to is can we soften can we have grace can we let people make a decision and not think that it's going to now separate them from the group that's not okay that's not spiritual I said to this woman I was like the only person you're letting down by not doing this because of a group mentality is yourself if your work requires you to do something if you love your job if your family require you to do something if it's something that feels so right for you and your values around health and protecting the community and whatever it is that you believe if that's what you need to do then you need to do that i am not going to judge you or tell you what to do and nobody out there should be doing that and that's what's happening it's like we've got this loud screaming noise from either side and granted i've been caught up in it i don't deny it it's been exceptionally difficult and confusing and when i sit my ass on the earth and i get real with myself i'm like yo this is so this is not it it's this is just the little mechanism for us to see where we are still attaching to the polarity and you know it's like a fork in the road it's also beautiful destruction leads to breakdown leads to breakthrough leads to rebirth it shows us what we really care about and what we really want and what is true for us and so i said to her you have a decision to make this thing this jab is just a blocker in the road and if it's a big hurdle like some people maybe for me it's a big hurdle i'm not going to i'm not going to waver so i will work around this block maybe the block is not a big issue for you so jump the block and go and do your thing or it's forcing you into a new direction a lot of people are working in safe jobs because of the sense of security they think it gives them but they're dying inside they're not being respected their boundaries aren't being respected their beliefs aren't being respected and so when this is imposed on them maybe it's time to look at if this is the career and the job that you want to be in is this the corporation that you want to work for what is their values what are they creating what is the harm they're doing on bodies or planet you know a lot of the big corporations will start to see that their people if the people stand up for themselves if the people stick to their truths will leave we have incredible technology the fact that you're watching this video means you have access to technology technology can create a business I run my business from my phone all my followers everything that I've created from scratch you can do it too once you take that courageous leap once you listen to your heart's truth 
And of course, we didn't all have the same starting points. I'm not denying that. And there are amazing tools and people and access to, yeah, to roads that you can walk on if you choose to walk them. That's your decision. And so for her, maybe this is a time to actually go after that creative, entrepreneurial idea that she'd been sitting on for so long. Maybe she loves her job and she needs to do this and it's going to be something that she works through. Nobody can judge that. So I'm just, yeah, realizing like, Oh, the weight off my shoulders when I give myself some breathing space. And I wanted to just pass that breath and that peace onto you to, yeah, to look at where you're still holding the fight and holding on to the karmic cycle of war. And this is also like deeper. This is the black and white thing. This is the male and female war this is everything that we've been fighting for and against for the last 2000 piscean age centuries and we are stepping through the darkness through the death into a time that's transcendent is is soul led is so much more like amazing and incredible than we could ever have imagined <laughs> truly but you have to go through the birth canal first you can't bypass it so where are you being forced to look at your darkness look at your traumas look at your triggers look at the things that make you stand so strong in control and want to separate yourself from others from other people from other places from other beings and seeing them as the enemy i got to do that <laughs> my relationship so much has come up this week libra time baby relationships mirrors like being in a relationship is a mirror to your own bullshit and how can you compromise in a loving and embodied sovereign place to meet another and say you know what I see you I see me I see our little wounds and children I see that I'm not going to change you and you're not going to change me and I'm still choosing to love you I'm still choosing to accept you and all the decisions that you want to make for yourself and really expand my capacity for greater consciousness, for greater space for both of us, for more love. I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed to have such a beautiful partnership and beautiful friendships and to do the work that I do so I can learn and see these things within myself and others and just continue to share it. And I hope that this has brought some, some stillness and space for you too. I'm not saying do anything. I'm just saying like, look at where you may be falling into the trap. because mm, we're far more powerful and creative and um, yeah like we're souls you know it, it's infinite something like this is not going to destroy that it's just going to show us what's what needs to be revealed what needs to be seen what veils need to be lifted and come into the heart come into the heart come into the feet come into the body and yeah trust I'm sitting tight I'm not making no decisions right now this has shown me that I need to be in South Africa I'm not gonna jump to something because I'm being forced to who knows what happens next but I'm finding inspiration from where I'm at and being still and okay with that stillness and yeah many blessings many many blessings breathe love unite against the fight